guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 16 of season 2 of The Ancient Magnus Brides. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I got a bad feeling about this already. Let me say it like this. Hold on. Excuse me. Okay. You know the first part of Corpse Party? When they all at the school and they all have that piece of paper together and then they it breaks and then they get some into the other world with that little girl gonna kill them all one by one. This is how it starts. This is how it st starts. We don't do that. No. There are consequences on doing things like that. You want to get killed? Because it seems like that's gonna happen. We're trying not to get killed. We are trying to avoid from getting killed. I don't want to get killed. I don't think none of them want to get killed. No. Don't do it. No. Go go in y'all rooms. Take a nice long nap. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. <laughs> get some breakfast. <laughs> do <your> score. <laughs> See, oh hell no. Nah. As much as I love me some scary stories, no. You don't know what the fuck is gonna happen. Somebody's gonna get caught. It's obvious someone's gonna get caught. Boo, you're sick. Oh. <laughs> No, sir. <laughs> I mean, you can't turn down turn down cheese. Eh? It's she says. I don't like the fact that she's paired with her. Yeah, 
to learn more about her? Yes. But she's very suspicious, though. You can't press the fucking stamp, bitch. Are you that? Look. <laughs> oh, I can't. Hmm. Man. That's because she's friends with them. It's different. Then why didn't you say anything? Yeah, as a friend. That too. Maybe Veronica wants the best for Phil, but it's just, it, it's hard to read her. See, of course, the way she was very demanding on that is because she, you know, she's above them. Because she can step all over them however much she wants. Not to her. There's a reason why she chose you. And so you can't refuse.
both died. Includes you too. You might be a villain as well. I mean, she can do a lot better than you. I'm just saying. Oh, she's so fucking two mother effing face. Phil? Of course, that did not sound good. <laughs> but that was actually little Phil. That wasn't his mind playing tricks with him. Uh, water? Mm. 
Did that look like water or was that just me? Or was it just, you know, the sky moving with stars? But that looked like bubbles. See? It, 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 it. Because he still cares about him. <laughs> Helped him. You're right. That's why you always have to talk to someone at least. You can't keep everything bottled up. Friday the 13th. It is a Jaws. So like Sharknado, but in the snow. Apologize to Phil first, then apologize to Isaac. Most people are just like that. Damn, everybody died in the end of the movie? Uh-oh. Hmm. 
Oh? What the absolute? <laughs> Well, I mean, at least everybody had fun. Oh, Elias. All right, so going back to Veronica and Fiedel Meadow's relationship, it, it's different, but still, to me, it still seem, seems like Veronica has so much of a hold and control over Phil. So there are times where I feel like Phil unnecessarily cannot think for herself. She's always doing what others are immediately forcing her to do or telling her to do. So it's like, she's not her own person and no matter what whether she does something under someone else's command or whatever um she always will get punished for it for an example the poison issue of the fact that phil didn't know that the cake had poison in it and that they were trying to possibly hurt slash kill veronica and in the end phil gets beaten for that she gets hit by her own grandmother because, of course, the grandmother expects so much for Phil because the fact is, you know, Veronica's family is such a, what's, the, like a high, a high end noble and such. And even though Phil's family is still like kind of in the noble-esque in it, she's not as high in the anarchy or as the hierarchy as Veronica's family is. And so even when that moment where like her grandmother came in, she's like, oh, I have three others who necessarily have this, the ability to sense, oh, this has poison in it and this doesn't. And no matter what, Veronica was like, I'm not taking any of them. I don't want any of them. I want Phil. And so even though Phil was like trying her hardest to be like, oh, no, 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 you don't want me. I'm, I'm useless. Like I'm, I'm basically an empty shell. I'm nothing. Veronica really didn't care about that. You know, like she said, this wasn't a request. This is an order. Like, I'm demanding you to <clears throat> be my assistant, be my bodyguard and stuff. And even though you're over here telling me, no, 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 no. We're not taking no for an answer. And that is truly sad because, once again, it feels like Phil isn't her own person. And so when you look at how far Phil has grown in all, like, what, six, 16 of this season episodes and how sometimes she defies Veronica and Veronica like looks very shocked and confused because Phil has always done the right thing. She's always done and taken orders from everybody else but slowly but surely because she's gone into this friendship with Bochise and Lucy and Zoe, Isaac, and Rion including her freaking cousin because her and Rion they're, they're not really the best in their relationship and so I really do hope that 
eventually Hyun does apologize to his cousin because yes, the shit that he said to her was wrong and he needs to know that what he fucking did to her and what he said to her was fucking wrong. So hopefully he gets that, you know, in, in the next episode or at least in the next couple of weeks. Now, the ghost that was following them using um Violet Sister's body, that was very interesting. But the little trail that they all did, that was also interesting as well. I do love the fact that, like, when Phil was looking in the mirror, I mean, not Phil, Rian was looking in the, fear, the, the mirror, he initially sees baby Phil. And maybe we could get a little more consensus on that, that maybe when they were kids, there is a lot of things that he possibly regrets that they did. Now, with Phil and Isaac by that window and them keep seeing, like, you could tell it was water because bubbles were shooting up like every five to 10 seconds. So are you telling me that both of these two are going to drown? But then we also saw water again, transitioning from one scene to another. So th that is a little weird, very weird. Now I'm wondering why, um, what's her face is asking for to say to come to the nurse's office, the wolf lady about to come up here with a fucking vengeance just so she can get her kids back and such because you know, Hell, hell frozen over, you know, be, be always be afraid of a mother because the things that a mother will do like for her kids. And once again, this is also why you need to have a taser with you or some stun gun or something like that or some pepper spray. Always be safe. But yeah, this was a really like for a Halloween as scary little episode. It was cute. I mean, I love it because, you know, we're by next Tuesday, we'll be in Halloween and I'll be at work. Yay. Um, but yeah, it was adorable. A little spooky ass here and there, even though, you know, <laughs> uh, you know, my type of scary is different, but I, I loved it. I, I, it's always good to get a little scared every once in a while and such. Um, but it was cute. Really cute. I just have a lot of questions about what the fuck all happened in this episode and if we're going to get any answers on that in the next couple of weeks. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 16 of season 2 of The Ancient Magnus Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode 17. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!